Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to install AEM on your local machine, on your local machine or server. So as part of this tutorial, I'll explain two very basic ways. If you want to know more detail about installation and custom run modes, there already a tutorial available in developer series. I'll leave a link in description. You can go back and check that. To install AEM on your machine or server, you need two things. One is a jar file, another one is a license file. License file is not need to install it, but to run AEM, you need this file. Same file, same jar file will be used to make author server and publish server. So to install and run AEM, whether it's a standalone or a cloud version, you need Java. Java is the only prerequisite. So if you are running AEM 6.5 standalone, you can use Java 8. But if you are running a cloud local instance, mean the sandbox version on your local, you need Java 11. So Java 8 won't work for cloud version. So I will explain two ways, right? There are custom scenarios how you can install that. So but as a beginner, now you just need to know how to install on a local just to start learning. So default means we there is a jar file if you double click on that jar file the default installation is an author instance and it will execute on 4502 i'll explain why another one is you can have the jar file and you can rename that jar just rename and double click so based on the name of the jar it will behave in a specific either author or publish or the port another one is a start script so you can install that using start script and that start script would be used ideally to start and stop that instance. I'll let you know how. So the simplest way is rename your jar. Once you get a jar, you will find a name like AEM hyphen quick start or something, something, something. So to make it run author or publish, you can rename that jar in a specific way. How you can do that? The first part is before hyphen, you can add either AEM or CQ. CQ is the old name. Then after hy hyphen, you can add author or publish. So if you add author, it will behave like your author. If you add publish, it will behave like a publish. Hyphen P. After that, you can add port. What port you want to run it. So by renaming that jar in a specific way, you can make either author or publish and you can change the port as well. Okay. So if you name like this, it will behave author and it will be running on 4502. If you change it here something, so it will behave as per the name. So this is the, this is the installation using the renaming of jar. And again, the next option is using script. I'll tell you how you can do that. So with this tutorial, now we are moving to demo part. Now the further tutorials will have a demo and I'll show you exactly on my machine how it is going to do that. Almost all the tutorials from now will have a demo. So as I said, same jar is used to install author and publish, but you must have a question. If you're running two AEM instances, how they behave differently, how you access those instances separately. So the answer is the port. So you will be running that AEM over localhost means for uh, localhost 127.0.1, both instances, but the differentiate is port. One will, will be running on another port, Second will be running on a different port. Okay, so let's take example. Now I have this AEM hyphen quick start hyphen 6.5 dot something jar. So if I double click now, what happened? It will install author instance and it will run at 4502. Why? When this will unzip and it will create a directory inside that directory bin, I'll show you, you will find three scripts, start script, stop script and quick start okay so when you double click on this without renaming that quick start script will execute and that script mentioned 4502 and author so let's say if i double click on this now it will run a instance on 4502 and it will be author so what i'll do i'll just rename it you can practice that on your own machine so i'll rename it as i explained so now I renamed it. Now I need to double click on it. It's the same process irrespective of the OS you are using. Either you are on Mac, Windows or Linux. So I'll double click on this. Okay. It will start. If you see, as soon as I double click, it create a directory. 
okay crx hyphen quick start if you're on mac you can get a pop-up like says this software is not recognized by mac so in that case you can right click and execute it's not related to am instance installation okay so if you see if you see here a window started and if you see the starting quick start on port 4503 okay same way if i do this one it will also create a directory here and it will say it's executing starting quick start on port 4503 okay because i mentioned port in my file name so that's why it is speaking from here okay so it may take few minutes based on your machine so uh, it may take depending on your machine So while it is installed, let me explain the directory and folder structures for you. This is a few folders are important here. So all the log files you can find here. Now you will see pretty less, but when you install your own code, you will have log files related to your code as per you created in your code base. So you can check your logs. For now, let me uh, show you this error log. So error initially, the, all the information, installation information goes to error logs. So what you can do, even on your any of your OS, just open your command prompt or terminal here. Uh, so I use a different software. So what I'll do, I'll open that. It is an item I use here. You can use any any uh, this kind of softwares. So what you can do inside this logs, do tail hyphen f error dot logs. Okay, initially how you can check your logs for now. It's a text file. You can open in an, any text editor as well. So if I open, you will see the logs are running. This is the initial logs. So that way you can check your logs. Okay. If you're on Windows, you can use PowerShell instead of command from because PowerShell uh, give you some additional, uh, you know, functionality to run these kind of commands means the Linux kind of commands you can run on Windows using PowerShell. PowerShell comes out of box with Windows. Another important directory is bin. This is most useful for you. Here you will have your scripts. So as I said, if you double click, this start script will execute and it depend on your OS. So if you are on Windows, the .batch file will execute, means .bat file will execute. If you are on Linux or Mac or any Unix kind of system, this sh file will execute. So always you see two files, start file one, start file two. All right, so that way. So as soon as you uh, see, AEM started right as soon as the AEM started it will it will open your browser default browser so if you see here okay let me explain that uh, the files first so this start script so if you want to start you can update this script I'll tell you how and this is for stop so ideally you should start and stop your AEM instance using these scripts instead of double click this is the standard way okay now now let me show you here okay so as soon as am started you see both as soon as both am started they will open a browser so author instance if you see here this is my first tab author instance as i said started on 4502 and it asked for the password okay so the default password is admin admin all right done if you see it will open the home page mean the start page but this way but the publish instance never asked for password it straight away open a website here right it did not ask now it is running on 4503 because this is the instance which serve content to end user okay and end user does not need any password to see content so you can by default there is a demo site we retail available which page will open obviously you can change this behavior so you see this kind of live site is open means the site for the end user on the publish and always it will open the site we change this behavior using the configurations and dispatcher we'll talk about that later but for now this is publish this is author author is to create content publish is to serve content okay so this is started now first time you can stop right you just stop it using these windows just stop it if you stop like this you stop like this that's it Okay, so now let me show you another way. Let me remove this. So as soon as I remove this, no, you, uh, AEM instance will no longer exist, okay? Because I removed everything. I just moved, removed everything and I will rename it, rename it as 
you know as earlier so that i can show you how you can set up your instance and the run mode so now you will see it's aem hyphen quick start so what i'll do let me open a terminal okay if you are on windows you can use powershell and as per your aem instance as per your means operating system so what i'll do i will unpack this jar this unpack command is not related to aem it's a just a java command so java hyphen jar okay and my file name you will see here and hyphen unpack okay so you will see here just notice here let me do this as soon as i run this command it will unpack this jar okay and it will create a directory but it will not install okay so done you will see a crx hyphen quick start has been created but it did not install at all okay you will see it stop now it created some basic files here now you will see some different folders less folders okay no file here no log file go to bin and update your start script as per your os so mine is mac so i will update this sh file so what i'll do uh, let me open this in editor means text editor for simplicity so once you open this file you can use a vi editor as per your as per your convenience but i am opening it as a text editor just to show you here you will see the port number just change this port number whatever the port you want to run just add this here let me let me change a bit let me give you 5 so i want to run it on 5502 and this is the instance means what kind of instance or basically we used to call it run mode and i explained in previous tutorials okay so you can add more than one run mode as well so let me ideally you should add like your environment like dev qa stage publish but for the simplicity to show you you can add any run mode here let me eat uh, you know add geeks here okay and just save it now go back and just run this file okay please make sure this file execute means in Mac, if you open this file uh, in text editor and by default, if you say open always in a text editor, so it will open in a text editor, it will not execute. So do one thing like, like I did, okay? I set a default uh, open software as a text software. So it will only open it, not execute. Keep in mind as per your machine, okay? So I'll run it in terminal. Now it started, okay? You will see here now, few folders have been created and you will see the logs sometime see log files has been created so now it's started installation earlier it just unpack okay first time it will install next time execute this file to start this okay and st stop file to stop this as per your machine means if you are on windows do this okay and i'll show you the logs as well you see the logs has been executing here it will register it will installation is happening you will see register register so many things here one more thing you must know here if you install using this way means uh, using start script or unpack you won't get that windows that windows came right when we double click on that file so now you won't find that window so now you will see the installation is done on 5502 because i mentioned this port in start script again the password default password is same or if you use some other ways of installation it may ask you to set your initial admin password there's another way some complex scenarios okay so these were the basics very basic way how to install am on your machine if you want to know more there is a detailed tutorial available in am developer series go back and check that i'll leave a link in description i hope you understood if you have any question Please add your comment. Thank you.